diversity and inclusion process and it's all about getting people from different walks of life to come in and bring in that unique perspective and to also be able to share parts of themselves so that way we can really resonate with our audience base. Well, a lot of times what happens is that people become so bought into society norms or what's deemed professional that we have a tendency to assimilate into the popular culture. So for example, you're more tended to wear a suit or a dress shirt for an interview. Um, you speak a little bit more proper English. You stand up straighter, uh, things like that because we feel that's gonna really make us more professional. A lot of times the diversity, the true genuineness of who we are and our personalities and our backgrounds, they get left out. I was born and raised in New Orleans, Louisiana. A lot of people in my family have a very thick New Orleans accent and they say a lot of words like oil, oil like Earl. And when I went to college, I became very cognizant of who I am in my background. When I was at home and growing up with my family, we lived in a poor area, but everyone around us literally was the same. So here we are introduced into a new atmosphere, and we're quickly taught that in order to be accepted, that we really have to change, be a little better, be a little taller, wear this coat of makeup, wear your hair a certain way. And so along the way, we start to bottle up who we are, our essence, or our background, and we bury it really deep, so that way when we're at work, we can be prim and proper. But the most important part of diversity is our backgrounds. It is where we come from. It's our history, our language, the way that we connect with our families. So I really like the opportunity to speak on how to, how to overcome the behaviors of code switching or basically presenting yourself as something not. I heard a great speaker say before that, you know, we're all kind of like aliens, we have layers. And each layer, kind of detracts from who we are on the inside. It's the way that we cover up our vulnerabilities or the things that really make us who we are. And I feel that in order for us to get the true benefits of diversity in our company and to really be able to get that diverse feedback that we're looking for to help us connect with a bigger audience, that we have to spend more time being genuine and looking towards ourselves. So I'm hoping that you give me the opportunity to really share my experiences and also how to overcome the societal norms or thought process of code switching so that way we can have a true work experience. Thank you.